Hello everybody and welcome to the Baker University Esports Twitch. Today we're going to be playing Rainbow Six Siege. It's currently quarterfinals in the NECC playoffs. Um, uh, anyways, we're, today we're going to be facing Western Colorado University. Uh, we, place, we faced these guys before earlier in the season. We beat them 2-1. to one. Uh, So we know a little bit about them, but... Uh, we're getting ready here to go into the game. Alrighty. Looks like we've started the operator banning phase here. Uh, looks like Western Colorado University gets to go first. Let's see what operator they ban. Alright, it looks like they decided to ban Thatcher. Interesting choice for a ban. Thatcher's gadget, if you don't know is a grenade that he can throw out that disables electronics and different gadgets. So he's a pretty good counter to a lot of agents, so it makes sense that they'd want to ban him. Alright, the next ban coming out is Jackal. Uh, Jackal's ability, uh, he can see footsteps where people have been and it's really easy to track people down that way. So he's always a, he's a very common ban. You'll see commonly banned in a lot of Siege games. Uh, looks like Baker University banning Maestro here. Uh, Maestro, also a pretty good agent, so he's commonly banned. And Western Colorado University banning Echo. Um, yeah, Echo's the one I don't think I usually see banned, but he is a good agent. His drone is really good at like sending out these little confuse rays that confuse people. Uh, so it's interesting to see them ban him here because he's a he's a good agent for like getting info and stuff. Alrighty. Well, looks like with the bands out Attackers of the way, to locate and defuse as many bombs we're gonna go as ahead and get into the game here. Attackers have discovered the location of a bomb. Alrighty, looks like we got Western Colorado University defending here first, and then Baker University getting ready to get in with their drones. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds to go. Attackers are moving to defuse a bomb. I had a little difficulty there figuring out how to finish the cameras, but we're back in it here. So the game's not going well for Baker University here. Currently, we're facing two to four, getting pushed out on a site, out of trying to get onto the site here. They Attackers recovered the bomb diffuser. Dropped the diffuser when one of our players died, but looks like Cool Volcanoes managed to pick it up. But 1v3, he manages to get a pick there, but still not a, a rough situation for him to be in, and he gets peeked out from the ceiling there and just goes down. Rough first round here for Baker University, but 
I'm confident that we could probably uh, pick it up from here on. It's only the first round, so who knows how the rest will go. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. Okay. Going back into it here, another round. Looks like Baker University getting ready to drone things out here, trying to figure out where that bomb site is currently located. We we'll see if it's going in the same position as last round. We'll see, we'll see if Western Colorado University might be switching up their their style here for this round. Western Colorado University. Just going around setting it up things. Attackers Getting ready for that attack the location of a bomb. Ten seconds to go. Reload. Looks like one of our players has managed to five discover where to the go. location of one of the bombs. Uh, with five seconds to go, we're about to get to attack objective the objective is to defuse a bomb. Trying to take a approach from the roof here. Drone active. I think that he's on. Looks like they're outside that the reinforced wall here. Palamala playing his Maverick, using his torch to cut in through there so he can throw some grenades, see if he can get some damage or any sorts of picks on the enemy here. Attackers have located a bomb. I'm not sure what's happened with the audio here. It seems to be stuck on the drone sound. Kind of peculiar, but uh, hopefully it fixes itself next round. Right, Baker University here trying to drone out where those where those uh, defending players from WCU are located as they prepare to try an entry into this bomb site. Get that diffuser planted. King managing to get a pick there, but gets traded out immediately from WCU. Looks like he wasn't quite able to get much onto site there. Looks like Cool Volcano and everybody else still outside. Uh, trying to find an opening for them to, you know, get inside on that site. WCU just holding down that site, not really peeking out, not thirsting out for kills. Doing a good job of just staying behind. 52 seconds left on the clock. Baker University gonna have to make a move sometime soon if they want to win this round. Attackers dropped the diffuser. Attackers recovered the diffuser. Looks like they traded who's got the diffuser. Palomalo getting in a gunfight here. Manages to pick one off, but at 1 HP, barely escapes with his life. And I guess I spoke too soon as he gets picked off there, making it a 3v3. Uh, cool Volcano. And KMBC 9 News here, the only players left for Baker University. A, a pick going off for both teams, left. making it a 1v1. Cool Volcano versus Livid. 10 seconds here. left. Let's see who wins. And Cool Volcano manages to win that round. Much better round here for Baker University. Looks like Baker University did a better job of managing to actually get in on the site there, but Western Colorado University is still doing a great job of holding down their sites. It was a close round. Let's see how this plays out as we're one to one here. A 
attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. Already. So I'm not sure what's going on with that sound. It seems to still be stuff on the drone sound. A little weird. Let's see if I can try and figure that out here. Maybe just going into options, turning it off and back on my head. Ten seconds to insertion. Five seconds left before insertion. That sounds better, I think. Like Attackers must it. locate and defuse a bomb. Okay, well, now there's no... Well, the sound of the drone is gone, but now there is no... Um, just, you know, normal game audio, but that's all right. We'll roll with it here for this round. I'll see if I can fix it next preparation round. Baker University going again to the roof. Seems like Western Colorado decided to keep the same setup as they've been running for the past two rounds here. Haven't changed the bomb site. Haven't mixed it up. Baker University breaking a hatch on the roof here. Maybe taking a different approach at trying to get in onto the site. Um, King droning out here, seeing if he can find where those players are holding, what angles they're holding as they try and get onto the site. Looks like this reinforced wall is broken here again this round. Um, looks like everything's going about the same this round so far. No one's got picked yet. No one's got damaged yet. So, minute 50 left on the clock. Baker University going to have to start thinking about where the, their first move is going to be. A and bomb what has been located. They're going to do to try and get inside here. They've opened a hash on the roof. They got the reinforced wall broke. Let's see where they decide to actually commit to pushing the site. Looks like Strafedon, Strafedon got picked off here by somebody. King breaking some enemy utilities. He tries to find someone and he misses his shots. Getting downed there by a WCU player. Baker University not seeming to be able to get through this choke point here. WCU doing a great job of holding it. Trying to hold an angle here, trying to get one of those WC but you players. He sees one, takes some shots, none of them landing. Ooh, and that player manages to KBC9 manages to pick one off from WCU. 3v4, 30 seconds on the clock. Baker University gonna have to make a move soon if they want to play up this diffuser and win this round. Baker University moving up here, trying to get a different angle on the site than they've been going to before. Palomalo picked remaining. off while trying to do so. Cool volcano still left. He 10 seconds one remaining. Can't be seen. I news and five seconds cool to volcano go. in a the gunfight here, the but has been dropped. not quite able to get onto the site there. WCU just holding too good of an angle there. They couldn't quite see him and get in that site on time to get the bomb down. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs.
Ten seconds looks left. Like we're back in it here. Still can't quite figure out what this audio issue five is. Five seconds remaining. Five seconds left on the preparation phase here for making Attackers are moving out to locate a bomb and defuse it. Looks like WCU seems to have changed what site they're they have the bomb down on. See how Baker University able to work here with them being down below instead of up top. Baker University just continuing to drone out. See where where they're deciding to hold here and what angles are being watched by WCU. decided to drone in before he pushes in there. Palomalu going into dirt there and managing to get himself a nice pick, going back into his team to regroup before they decide what point they're going to try and use to infiltrate onto these bomb sites. like strafed on using his sledge ability to open up the floors here so Baker University players can try and you know pick off those players downstairs through the little cracks in the rope in the floor pretty smart strategy they're doing but let's see how that plays out always good to try and get a pick off on the bomb site so there's less people to deal with when you try and uh, get there attackers the have located a bomb Gunfight here manages to get a pick on that player shooting at him through there without them even meaning the damage. A pretty good pick there from Palomalo as he gets shot out from another player. It seems the uh, the rest of the Baker University team still kind of up and around, not quite pushing onto site as Palomalo draws their attention away as they come from the other side. A bomb has been located. Palomalo is down, but not sure if the other team knows that he's down. Cool Volcano coming to see if he can get a res here on Palomalo. Alright, he looks like King managing to push off site here, picking off another. 15 seconds remaining. And getting picked off. Palomalo getting picked Ten off. King remaining. getting down. KBC here planting the site, planting the bomb. Five on seconds the site. to go. Attackers activating diffuser. All right, looks like they managed to get the diffuser down. Let's see if Baker University can defend this diffuser from the one final player. And there it goes. Strafed on managing to get that final pick. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs Back as they in can. In on the preparation phase here. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds to go. Alrighty, looks like Western Colorado University might have changed Attackers are the moving out to locate a bomb again, and trying defuse to find it. a bomb site that works the best to see in what they can hold the most effectively. <laughs> All 
Alrighty. Back at university, trying to gather around this reinforced wall here, as they have been the other rounds that Western Colorado University had the bomb sites here. Uh, one of them getting picked off by Western Colorado University player peeking out through those reinforced walls, but let's see if we can get another pick coming out from us. King looked like he's trying to make a little maverick hole here so he can throw some flashers or a grenade through or something. Try and get something in on their sight, see if we can get some damage on one of the players or maybe one of them flash so we can better get a better get a you know ability to push through this site here. KBC looks like he might be in a gunfight here with one of the players, but nothing really happening. King managed to get a pick on one of them. 3v4 here. A minute 20 left on the clock. Let's see how long it will take Breaker University to get onto site here. If they'll continue to just, you know, stay on the outside Attackers and try and get another a pick bomb. before they go in. Looks like strafed on getting one on site. About to move on. Getting a good push in, KBC9 News pushing in from the other side. Baker University trying to pincer him here, but KBC9 News going down. And I believe that was, sorry, not KBC9 News, but Cool Volcano going down. Straped on in a gunfight with one of the players on the stairs here, getting low on health. Looks like he's going to have to reposition, try and get a different angle to Attackers try and get on the Attackers have dropped the bomb here. diffuser. KBC9 News going down with the diffuser being dropped. Looks like it's just strafed on left with 1v3, and they have the diffuser held down with only 20 seconds on the clock. It'll be rough for Baker University to win this year, and that he gets picked off. Going in around six here. Let's see if we get any different character picks around coming around this time. See if anybody's changing any strats here. Seems to be everyone's going about the same agents as they have been. Score is currently two to three. Um, so just a slight edge here for Western Colorado University, but we'll see how this continues here. Let's see if Baker University ties it up again or Western Colorado University this gets themselves a nice lead. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. Sorry about the audio issue here. It seems to be some sort of glitch in the game that has gotten rid of all of like the normal game audio sounds. And just the uh, music is playing, but nothing I can really do about that until the next game. So we'll just have to deal with it here as we play out in this next game. That play out this game. Sorry. Ten seconds to insertion. Five seconds left. Right, Baker University Attackers are moving like out to locate a bomb and defuse it. Very specific site directly with a drone, but I think they have a good idea of which sites that the bomb seem to be at. It seems to be in the same site as last round. Palomalo shooting through the wall here. See if he gets any quick pick or any sights on the enemies here. Getting just a nice angle that he can shoot at through on site. Bomb located by attackers. Ooh, enemy decides to peek out of Palomalo here. Palomalo taking a lot of health, but not quite going down. Manages to get a pick off with that grenade right there. Good pick there by Palomalo. Volcano holding an angle there. Let's see how Baker University goes about getting onto this site here. Looks like they're going back to the good old reinforced wall here. Classic site to try and push here. Palomalo pinging one of the players so he can let Baker University know where they are. 
Baker University managing to just see the foot of one of those players and shoot him through that little drone hole. Uh, flashes going in. Flash is trying to trying to be used so they can try and get those players to like rotate off where they're sitting there on site. Maybe confuse them a little. Frag grenade going in so from strafe down disabling that uh, gadget there that disables grenades and allowing more stuff to be thrown through. Trying to keep these Western Colorado University players off that choke point so they can pick them off just like Strafe Don just did. KBC9 News trying to drone out on the site. See where the other two are landing. Baker University is king. Uh, pushing in there, getting picked off. Western Colorado University holding a nice cross on that. Uh, on that angle there, so not much he could really do without the rest of his team pushing in with him. It looks like the drone sound is back. That's always nice. Uh, again, sorry for the audio issues here, but it's it's a glitch that's happened, and there's nothing I can do to fix it until this game ends. Volcano, just watching those angles, see if there's anybody trying to, you know, peek out and get a quick pick on Baker University players here as they begin to look for an opportunity to get onto this bomb site. Can't be seen. Fifteen seconds considering remaining. Going through in this window because he needs to get that bomb planted down. Ten within seconds 10 left. Seconds, but with them, with the floor being shot out, he's not in a safe place. Five place, seconds remaining. Looks like he might manage to get the diffuser. Attackers dropped here. the diffuser. Operators, you are out of time. WCU winning this round. KBC9 News getting picked off just before he manages to get that diffuser down. Different of a lineup here, uh, mostly because. Um, ah, sorry. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. Alrighty, going into this here, looks like they've swapped from defenders in attacking positions. WCU now on the attack, and Baker University now defending. Uh, score two to four, so. Baker University didn't do as well in the attack round. Maybe the defender for round is where they bring this game back, or maybe they just go out right here. I guess we'll see in the coming round. 20 seconds left on the clock. Baker University setting up their sights, placing down their gadgets, getting ready for that assault from the enemy team. 10 seconds remaining. Five seconds to go. Attackers are moving out to locate a bomb and defuse it. And it looks like WCU has not managed to see any of Baker University's players in an interaction here yet, but except for Palomalu shooting at that window at that player outside, but not managing to get any damage or anything out of, but did scare him away a little. Cool Volcano still continuing to reinforce the site as WCU's taking their time uh, getting to the site, making sure that they can drone it out and see where people are before they decide to commit to it. Shrafton checking the camera, seeing if he can spot any of the WCU players as they try and get to these bomb sites. <laughs> Minute 40 left on the clock. WCU gonna have to start moving up here pretty quickly if they want to get onto that bomb site. Ooh, it looks like. Palomalu gets a little too A bomb aggressive. has been located. There. 
Baker University mostly just sitting on the sites waiting for WCU to make their actual push onto the sites. Not really not really picking out peeking out or anything. You're going outside except for Palomalu who got picked off doing so. Uh, probably a good decision here from Baker University to just sit on the site and hold the angles as WCU players uh, start encroaching down on the site. Forty five seconds left. They're gonna Attackers have to start have located a bomb. soon if they want to plant that diffuser. Flash is going out towards Baker University. Cool volcano getting flashed. Can't be seen The attacker's getting bomb picked diffuser has been dropped. King managing to pick off the diffuser. Oh. Oh. Two Baker University players getting picked off. Attackers recovered the diffuser. 1v3. Attackers got the diffuser. 1v2. Manages to get a pick off. Getting some damage. 15 out on the seconds other. remaining. Attackers activating diffuser. But WCU manages to get that diffuser planted. Strafed on, not quite able to get that pick there and win that round. Two v five, not two to five current score, not looking the best for Baker University here for this first game. As you need to get to the, I believe you need to get to seven to win the this game. It's a best of three. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. Attackers have located a bomb. Ten seconds to insertion. Five seconds left before insertion. Attackers are heading out to defuse a bomb. Alrighty, looks like we're going into the no another attacking round here. Palomalo watching this angle, seeing if any of the WCU players decide to get up on there and uh, attack from that angle. Not much action going on yet here as for WCU is probably just droning out here, seeing if they can find where Baker University players are sitting before they decide to commit to pushing towards any sites. Palomalo push lurking out away from the site, seeing if he can get any picks on any WCU players up here before he decides to come back to the site. As the you know, as they're wandering around trying to find a good way to penetrate onto the site. Baker University checking cameras, holding angles, just waiting for WCU to make their move. Except for, of course, Palomalu, who's upstairs currently, trying to see if he can pick off anybody coming upstairs trying to rotate around. Palomalu shooting from the floor, seeing if he can get any picks. WCU player apparently dying to their own grenade there. Unfortunate here for WCU. Um, not quite sure how that happened, but somebody certainly made some sort of mistake. Oh, 
Oh, Mama was still upstairs, seeing if anybody tries to rotate back up, or seeing if he can get a pick on a WCU player. Okay, we see news getting flashed. Cool volcano getting the picked off. Trade going back in. The diffuser down. For Attackers the recovered the diffuser. Fifteen King seconds left. Get that other one, but. Not it manages to get picked Ten seconds off there. To go. Another trade going in. Two to one. Diffuser down. Five getting seconds planted left. by WCU. See if they'll have enough time to get this planted. Attackers activating diffuser. Looks like they managed to get it planted. Let's Attackers see if need to protect the diffuser. Position okay, compromised. News can pick them off. Yes, they do. Big Defenders have disabled the bomb diffuser. diffuser here. Defenders managing win. To win that round. It looks like Rainbow Six Siege seems to have crashed here. Sorry for the uh, difficulties, folks. We're going to go on a little bit of break as we're trying to figure out uh, why it crashed and how we shall continue.
Alrighty, looks like we're back here. The game did crash for us, but the game kept playing for all the players. So looks like we're round, round. Uh, I'm not sure what round it is, but uh, this is round nine here. Match point for WCU. Um, not looking the best for Big. Attackers have discovered the location of a bomb. Ten seconds left before insertion. Five seconds remaining. Attackers are heading out to defuse a bomb. Started here for Baker University. Just the building sites. SWCU. Let's get. down to watch this angle from the other players. Palomalu is rotating around trying to see where those WCU players are. And cool volcano straight down still staying on the site. Uh, or at least near it. As they watch for these WCU players. Launching drone. Yeah. smart to keep holding that angle just in case. Alamalo also choosing out our seat. Oh, okay, getting into a gunfight with the WCU player. Swapping Max! Looks like KMBC News manages to get the WCU players here. There had been dropped. Kill going out from Palomalu. Uh, 2v1 here as they try and get onto site. Two Bacon University players here and the defuser. It's going to be a lot of work to get that bomb. See, sorry, cool volcano getting down here. Looks like it's a 1v1 here for Palomalu and the WCU player. Palomalu walks into a Should do all right on the defending rounds, but not quite able to get there. Uh, and we'll take a short break here as we wait for game number two.
All right, so apologies, T. James has left for a bit for a little break, but apparently we have started. So he was going to give me a little introduction, but it is Calypso Luna over here. I am also shoutcasting. Sorry about the late return, but uh, it seems like we are banning Thatcher, Jackal, Cade, and I think they were making a joke about banning a Rooney, but I'm, I guess Maestro. So that is the end of the ban phase for game two. Uh, we're doing cafe. Currently, Baker is, I think, defending first. Yes, if I'm correct. Yes, they're defending. Cool ball hitting going with Thorn. Straight off the cup. Uh, cap. So sorry, I'm going to butcher all these names. Can be C90 is with Jaeger, King with Valk, and Pomo with Newt. Alright, let's get into game one. I mean, game two. So apologize. Alright. So it's just setting up with the preparation phase. Attackers have discovered the location of a bomb. Drop the bomb diffuser. Looks like we're gonna have to re-host the game here as, um, as a WCU players seem to Attackers crash. need to locate and defuse bombs. So hold on with us here as we have some technical difficulties.
ready for game two here. Let's see who Baker University decides to mute. Uh, why did I say mute? That's the wrong word. <laughs> who Baker <laughs> University decides to ban here. They're going up first. Looks like they decided to ban Thatcher. Another commonly banned agent, you know, banned last game, and I assume it'll be banned next if we play the third game. Right. Jackal. This is a different one from when they initially started, so this is pretty interesting. I think they banned Jackal last game, too, as well, because Jackal's a very commonly banned agent. Alright. Or, I don't know if they call them agents in this game, it's a different one in every one. Yeah, that's true. Something like that. Yeah. One of those heroes, who knows. So something. Anyways, looks like band going out on Maestro and Cade here. Cade is an interesting band. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know if I know what Cade does. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, I And don't I don't think that, I don't remember them even playing Cade last round, so. Interesting band. But, uh, I guess we'll see if that makes a difference. There's a lot of characters that I haven't seen being played, especially like Go Goyo. I, who is this? I don't know Goyo. <laughs> I don't know Osa. I know Osa that she was relatively new, mm -hmm. um, but everyone else I should be. I, I, I know. Like what is there? Like there's like at least fifty. There's at least. Defender, like last time I checked, there was forty-eight. By I'm pretty sure they've added. Like, Yeah, it always feels that way, but when you really look at it, they have a lot of time. But they always seem to be doing at least one thing. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds left. Attackers are moving to defuse the bomb. Laser wire going up. Drop the bomb diffuser. Attackers well, recovered the diffuser. Game, uh, they did. I think they did a little bit better on the attacking round. Like, uh, one defending round, but uh, they were they had a hard time getting onto site. They would often like push in and stuff and uh, just be unable to uh, actually get the picks they need and get the space on the site. Um, and they. A lot of times they would just get picked off. Baker University, WCU kind of positioning themselves around. Remote adrenaline search. You know what angle they want to tackle here to get onto the site. They did manage to get a pick on cool volcano earlier. Um, so it's a 5v4 for Baker University. Not the most ideal, but four is definitely enough to still win the round, especially on defense. Some sort of information on where some of these WCU players are. He doesn't quite know for sure. So he's holding on in. Anybody pushes the
1v5 left with Palomalo, who has a shotgun on the bomb. Attackers are activating the bomb diffuser. Get that diffuser down and see if Palomalo can push this out. But with only 30 seconds left and a 1v5, not looking great here for Baker. close to the site. Wasn't much of a chance for him to win there. And it pretty much isn't uncommon for Paul Mollo to have some sort of clutch round whether or not it is mm. fully successful or not. But yeah. he usually tends to make it pretty well. Yeah, not not looking looking the best here for this round, however. like we got pretty much the exact same uh, operator lineup as last round going into the second round. See if Baker Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. Preparation, yeah, preparation phase starting. University Bomb located by attacker. Setting Volta. Camera feed up and running. DDD deploying! Deploying ADS. Deploying explosive ordinance. Ten seconds left. Five seconds remaining. Attackers are moving to defuse a bomb. Located by attackers. C2 of the WC is there. Reload! Can we see news, however, managing to use the bolt this angle, see if any more decide to move from there. So the problems from his team and moving angles to see if he can try and get a better better position for himself to be in. before WCU attacks and have just not been able to do a good job of keeping them off that site and holding down. Now there's new operators that I don't recognize like Mai and Mozzie. Still have no clue who those are. I know Mozzie, but you know I don't Mozzie? know Wamai. Must be a new guy.
attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. Currently 2 over WCU here. Bomb located by attackers. definitely going to have to keep track of Jammer ready. you know every single player in a way because one just seems to be stranded and picked off and then somehow they end up being in clusters and then they Deploying get picked off one by one by WCU I will watch over us perimeter defense online zone activated Bog is set Not seeing much here, but they're definitely patiently waiting to see. Okay. Looks like a WCU player managed to pick off Strafe down here. Not. Again, Baker University players just managing to get picked off from various WCU players. Palomalu, however, happened to get a pick for her own. But gets, tr and while it was KBC9 News, gets picked, making it a 4v3 for Baker University. While down a man, not too bad of a disadvantage here, so they may just be fine. Palomalu getting blinded in this corner as the WCU players rush him and doesn't manage to get a pick there. Might have seen that player there, but decides to move back to get better positioning as they rush him in. Nice. Manages to kill one there, but uh, doesn't manage to get the other. Also, unfortunately, some of the audio did cut out with all the shots. And the just part of the audio is kind of fuzzy like it was, so... Yeah, I, uh, I don't know why it does that, but, you know... Hopefully Ubisoft can fix their game someday. Yeah, so that unfortunately that's not a nice problem. It's more of a Ubisoft problem. Yay. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. Attackers have located a bomb. Ten seconds to go. Five seconds remaining. Right, 
attacker's objective is to defuse a bomb. Fix a little bit of our audio before going now into the action phase. Again, unfortunate that we can't get the games in, but at least we won't have to, to hear that static anymore. Attackers have dropped the bomb diffuser. Attackers have recovered their diffuser. Into the action phase here. Oh, already getting a pick off on one of the WCU players. Much better start here going into this attacking, uh, sorry, this defending round for Picker University. Looks like they might have moved the bomb site again this round. I'm not sure why it's looking a little better, but still very early into the round, so maybe we'll see how it plays out. Planting toxins. Drone activated. Device ready. to get a little bit of damage off of them, I believe. Or maybe not, actually. No, he didn't. Make it. Unfortunate there for Cannon. Unfortunate there for Strowman. Getting down there by the way. Really he didn't get killed. So he might be able to get revived. And I guess I spoke too soon. Another game going in, finishing off. Strafe down. Will be three here for Baker. Which is exactly what we want to see here. I don't know. Hopefully Baker University can get a couple more rounds like that in under before they switch over to attack. And uh, I think they did a little better on attacking last game, so maybe they'll be the same here. So. I know that they tend to be pretty aggressive, especially with Paul Mala's type of playstyle. He tends to be a little aggressive. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. Mm -hmm. So yeah, attacking I'm probably... Will be so. We'll see how it Bomb goes located here. by attackers. Three, three to one current score. Baker University definitely not out there. Ten seconds to go. That character's name is like Five seconds left before insertion. Yeah. Oh, Attackers are moving to defuse a bomb. Uh, you know, cl close enough, I guess. <laughs> I just thought it was Malusi or. Uh, no, no, that was a different operator, and, which also wasn't. It was like one high. Oh, yeah. Keep thinking of, but it was also Reloading. Different. It's alright. I mean, honestly, there's like so many operators, it's hard to keep them all yeah, in track, so making a sort of mistake like that isn't too bad. Looks like Cool Volcano, though. I were talking, getting. Quite a bit of damage done to him from a WCU player. Actually, I think that was King. No, no, I'm hearing a little bit of their banter. You think? Yeah. Well, that's not ideal to, deal to be of... shooting your teammates. Yeah. But, but you know, accidents happen. That's so. the biggest downside of this game is it's so... It gives you that like, slight realism of you can definitely damage your teammates. The volcano trying to... Break some plates and some boxes. Always gotta entertain yourself on site while you're still waiting for the other players to push in. Mm -hmm. Baker University doing a good job of not, you know, pushing out needles and staying there on site so they don't get picked off like they have in the previous rounds. I think if they just stay and maintain on site another, I think they should be fine. Yeah. Palomalo, however, you know, he can't stay in the same place for too long. Seems to be holding a different angle off site, but still on the same floor, so. Reloading! 
probably pretty good here for Palomalu. You probably could definitely get a kill if anybody happens to peek down those stairs. Smoke there to keep the WCU from pushing in through that angle. Repulsion device planted. Attackers have dropped the bomb. Nest in position! 3v5 looking pretty great here for Baker University this round. 3 to 5, 20 se only 20 seconds left on the clock. Nest ready. 15 seconds remaining. Oh. 10 seconds remaining. Like it was low. 5 seconds remaining. Reload. Operators, you are out of time. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. Time for some serious protection. Going in the end. Healing station place! Ten seconds to insertion. Five seconds left. Attackers must locate and defuse a bomb. Camera feed up and running. Setting the welcome mat. Visual going up. Activating camera. He's taking a few pop shots at that door to see if he can get any of the WCU players out there. He doesn't manage to. He does seem to see one through the wall and manages to get a pick off on one. Getting another shot there just in case someone has been located through, but doesn't manage to get any others. Decides to retreat here and move back to find kind of a different angle that they won't expect, or just take it from a longer range. Ready for company. Now Drift's out, trying to get another pick on a WCU player there. Out here. The attacker's bomb diffuser has been dropped. Oh, ready. Ooh, nice. looks like Palomalo, when he ran in front of that door there, one of the one of the WCU players happened to accidentally shoot Attackers his friend in the head. Attackers recovered the bomb diffuser. That does not... Fortunate for Baker, <laughs> unfortunate for WCU, but... Again, like we said earlier, with the ability to damage your enemies, it just does happen sometimes, unfortunately. When you're trying to shoot at, you know, someone, you just sometimes accidentally shoot your friend. And it's sad when it happens, but not really much you can do about it. It's like Palomalu's on cameras here, trying to ping out where those enemy players are so he can communicate to the rest of his team what angles they need to hold and where they need to watch. For a second I thought that was a fake, but I was like, I don't think they have uh, any... Oh my goodness, and the audio cuts out again for this game. Ubisoft, please. 
this fixer here. For the love of everything. Bomb located by attackers. Agreed. 3v4 for Baker University here, but WCU seems to manage the, activating diffuser. getting the diffuser planted. Not quite sure how that happened. I guess the Baker University players just, none of them happened to be on the right side at that time. He's definitely still being right on site. Cool mm. Baker University, gonna have to move fast here to get those guys picked up. Twenty seconds left. They just gotta swing in together. Defenders have eyes on the diffuser. Oh, Attackers like need Paul to protect Mello it. Manages to get the last one, and looks like we'll probably be able to get this diffuser diffused in. Bomb diffuser disabled by defenders. Defender mission successful. Another good round here for Baker University. They definitely seem to pick it up on defense here, but changing bomb sites a bit around and not staying with what they were doing that first round or two has really helped them here. And bring it back up to a 3-3 three, three tie. Alright, so we're going into the attacking phase, and like you said, they were pretty good on attacking. So I'm hoping that is the same on Cafe. Mm -hmm. Looking pretty promising if you're a Baker University fan here for the out, for the, you know, projections of how the rest of this game will go. Unfortunately, once again, Ubisoft doing us a great service in their game crashing. So unfortunately, we'll have to take another little break here uh, while we try and get the game back up to spectate for you all. But they will still be playing the game even if they're not there to watch. So we'll see if we can get that back up to you and we'll be right back.
attackers are heading out to defuse a bomb. Fifteen seconds to go. Attackers are activating the diffuser. Did get to manage to see the end of the round though. Yeah, so. yeah, that's pretty good. That's nice. <sighs> Flores. Never seen that guy. What does he do? He looks pretty cool. He reminds me of a leader. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Hopefully the game doesn't crash again for the rest of the night. It's unfortunate that that happened. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. Again, not our fault, but definitely Ubisoft. Uh, hashtag Ubisoft takes your game. Attackers have located a bomb. No, pretty much every time we stream Siege, there's some sort of issue. Okay, three, you you deployed. Deployed. Ten seconds to insertion. Setting down my plus one. Five seconds to insertion. Attackers are moving to defuse a bomb. Getting a lot of damage the done to the man. Swift on managing to pick up the guy shooting. Alamalo managing to pick up another player. And then gets picked up. Ah. Yep, gets traded out. KBC9 News getting one. Uh, also getting Attackers traded out. The the Activated. Attackers dropped the diffuser. Uh, anyways, 2v2 here, Baker University. Uh, gonna have to push up onto the site here sometime soon, but you know, not too much of a rush because they still got a minute left on the clock, which is quite a lot of time. Looks like we just got KMBC 9 News and Cool Volcano Attackers left. Attackers recovered the bomb diffuser. Uh, getting the diffuser. Now they're gonna have to get onto the site here and you know, get that diffuser planned. Bomb diffuser has been dropped. Ooh, it looks like KBC 9 is getting picked off. Cool volcano be able to clutch out that round.
defenders protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. Four to four here. Pretty close game so far, all in all. Both teams doing a great job just kind of trading out rounds here. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes for the rest of this game, but I have no idea how it'll go really. It's been pretty even time. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Attackers are moving out to locate a bomb and defuse it. The Baker University here, looking like they're gonna try and push through this side here been with that little mirror window here, kind of, you know, delaying their King placing his own shield down here. Stop the people trying to shoot out of that mirror. A shield here so he doesn't get hit, but I'm not sure where the rest of the university is. But King certainly holding down this area, drawing the attention of the other team. Forty-five seconds left here. Baker University gonna have to make Bomb some sort of by attacks. Attackers dropped the diffuser. Reload. King managing to get two. Get nice double kill there. Only three in the favor of Baker and managing to get that last kill and win that round. Definitely allowed King to keep on pushing in and make that play there to win that round. And he got two free kills from that too. Sir. Yes, sir, he did. Yes. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. You can stop worrying about grenades. We're gonna need up. Deploying explosive ordnance. Attackers have located a bomb. Ten seconds left before insertion. Five seconds to go. Activate Jamma. Attacker's objective is to defuse a bomb. Activate Jamma. 
fighting Jammer. Taking their time here on this attacking round, a minute before they left the clock. Watching this hatch, trying to see if it's Gemini safe for them to go down or not. Yeah. Trying to figure out where those players are hit sitting, and maybe University's King managed to send in his clone there and get a nice ping on where that player was uh, holding that angle. So they can try and better assess where Activating cell they can push quick. in from that hatch. Mm -hmm. and it looks like he was trying to shoot through the floor there to see if he could get that player that was Activated holding that run. hatch through the floor as drove. Ping went in to, as, as King went in to ping Taking that player. But he didn't manage to get him. So 5v5, five seconds left on the clock. 5v4 now. And the University gonna have to make some sort of a play, you know, here pretty soon. Looks like Baker University's King might have just dropped down. Try and move on to site here. Uh, looks like he has. He's gonna have to make some sort of push here with, with only 30 seconds left to so get him get on to site. Attackers have located the bomb. Attackers have dropped the bomb diffuser. Fifteen seconds left. round there for Baker bringing the score back five to five they're just trading on and off here and neither team seeming to be able to establish dominance in this game Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. Laser gate in position. Deploying ADS. Deploying ADS in order. Attackers have discovered the location of a bomb. Insertion. Deploying welcome mat. Attacker's objective is to defuse a bomb. Just like they did last time. 
does seem like the bombs seem to be planted in a slightly different location than last time. But Peking University seeing if they can take that same approach as they did last time. King peeking in through a window there, trying to see if he can find anybody. Oh, he's not spotting anybody. Launching replicator! Are you seeing that as well? See if he can spot any you? players trying to hold any angles here. Rush contact! It doesn't matter if you can see where one is. He needs to drop on the center as he tries to advance. So Baker University can get down there and get the center. Ping coming out from King. Sorry, a uh, pick coming out from King and a pick coming out from two Cover me, reloading. Uh, WCU players. Getting in that gunfight, losing that gunfight. Or so, getting cool volcano. Just Kalamalu left, 1v4 situation. Only half of the south. Not looking good here for Baker University. That's right. Fifteen seconds left. Rough situation for Palomalo to be in. Not much he could really do there as there's four players there holding every angle for him to cut in. A hard round for him to clutch and he just was not able to pull it out. Alright, and WCU seems to be going into a match point. If Baker University does manage to win this round, they will be going into overtime if I'm correct. Yes, I believe so. As you have to win by two, I believe, and uh, match point is seven. So, if uh, WCU wins this round, they win the whole game, and that would be defenders two protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. Three and the whole match today. But, uh, if Baker University manages to win this round, we're going to a nice overtime, or Baker University can, you know, have their you chance stop to win about this and try and reverse sweep WCU. Attackers have located a bomb. Ten seconds left before insertion. Five seconds left. Having my plus one. Attackers are heading out to defuse a bomb. Looks like the bomb seems to be planted on the middle floor here. Baker University deciding to go in from the bottom rather than the top this round. Let's see how that plays out for them. They pretty much tried to go out through the top this whole time. So far. That's how you want it. Volcano almost making it to the bomb site here. Gonna about to check this corner, see if he can pick it off. Bomb has been located. The bomb here is not going to be. Air jump, Jackson. Okay. Drone 
is ready. Another player. Looking pretty good for Bacon University here for this round. DB5, Cool Volcano, basically on site. He has one player holding him here, and they're not fighting enough because he's able to just to walk on to some B site right here as he watches for that player to see if they rotate over to A, which more of the Baker University players seem to be towards. Ooh, KBC9 News getting a fantastic pick on one of the players right there. 4v2 looking great for Baker University to be able to tie it back up at 6 6. Down 1v4 would be really hard Attackers for them to drop the bomb this one. Like Baker University starting out on attack here for overtime. Which will be pretty, pretty good for them. If they can get it. <sighs> Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. Bomb located by attackers. Ready to go. I've got Benji. Hey, hopefully, Bacon University is able to win this in overtime here at this. Otherwise, we will be left. losing the match and we have. You know, obviously, Five seconds Baker to go. University players here with Baker University win, so as uh, the attacking phase begins here, the let's see how this round plays out here for Baker University. We've seen them be, uh, you know, generally performing better uh, on attack rounds both this game and last, so uh, looking promising here for Baker University starting on attack. Looks like they, uh, Looks like WCU decided to plant, or sorry, move palm sites up to the uh, third floor of this uh, So Baker University once again Lost deciding to, Gemini. you know, push in from the roof. Looks like WCU is on the third wide open wall there to shoot any Baker University players that decided to jump down through that, you know, hatch and be prepared, but... Let's see how it goes. King throwing in a drone to try and see what those WCU players are. Seeing as, you know, floppy as well. To see if we can find, you know, you know, what specific bomb angles has been are being held. King dropping in, getting ready to push towards the site with a minute 30 left on the clock. University still has plenty of time, but 5v3, two players down. Not looking the best for Baker University, but definitely still able to win this round. Attackers dropped into the has gone down, and King C9 News getting eliminated, leaving just. King to see if he can win this round. Perhaps he can get a. Perhaps he has enough time to get a revive down on. Attackers uh, recovered the defuser. Otherwise, it's going to be just him versus the three WCU players. Well, it does look like he's able to get that res. Picking one off. That's going to go to us. Uh, does he did manage to see another player there? So. 
shooting at him in the gun play. Drop the bomb diffuser. Not quite able to get that player in. Defender's winning this round of overtime. Now you do have to win by two overtimes. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. Attackers have located a bomb. EDD mounted. Don't stand close. Reinforcement in place. EDD mounted. Let them come. Ambush set. Stay clear. You can stop worrying about grenades now. Doorway trap. Stay clear of blast zone. Ten seconds left before insertion. Five seconds to go. EDD mounted. Let them come. Attacker's objective is to defuse the bomb. Like Baker University starting the attacking phase here on the on defense, it's, they're still, you know, setting up some stuff around the side, but it looks like they got most of their setup down, and let's see how this fares here on defense. Palomalo already getting picked off by a WCU player. Unfortunate here for Baker University. Not quite sure how that happened, because I was, you know, not watching at the time, but not looking good for Baker University. With the attacker's bomb diffuser has been dropped. Attackers recovered the, the bomb diffuser. Back. King and others deciding to, you know, still hold these angles and wait for the rest of the players to come push on site, but looks like they're not quite pushing out towards Baker University yet. Clock, so they got plenty of time to make their move. going down here. 5v3 here on the defense for Baker University. Not looking great. If they lose this round, they're going to have to lose the, not only this game, but the whole match. Loading dart. So it's looking rough here for Baker University, but definitely still the shield not being able to do anything if they have a shield full volcano. Getting a player to like half health, but getting picked up. Drop the bomb diffuser. KBC getting a nice pick here. Too much. Looking a little better here than Baker University, but still looking good. Right Attackers have recovered their diffuser. Attackers dropped the diffuser. KBC get a pick there and another. Oh, Two versus two here for Baker University. Diffuser down. WCU gonna have to push in towards them. Looking good here for Baker. So far, it looks to be a good, good opportunity here for a clutch for Baker. Two v two. Thirty seconds left on the clock. Let's see how this goes. The diffuser is down on site, so WCU will have to push in and grab that diffuser before they're even able to plant it. Fifteen seconds to go. Triple kill left. Can't we see, but hey, he is still getting out, but only six left in five seconds, seconds left in the clock. And oh. WCU didn't have the diffuser, so King managing to clutch out that round with that kill. And Baker, while not in a good spot, definitely not out of this yet. That is for sure, and now we're back on that attacking side. Let's see how 
this goes, are we gonna have to go back to defending? Uh, I'm, you know, if they win two in a row, I think that might also count. Because I know Valorant does that, where if you just win two in a row like that, you'll just you'll win just anyways, win. even <laughs> if you're not up by two. So I think maybe if Baker University wins, they might be, uh, they might just be done. Uh, but, um, well, I mean, they'll still have to play another game, but... If not, then we'll need another two rounds. So we'll see Attackers how it goes. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. Last round, clutching that, clutching that, you know, five v three, five v two, whatever it was there. Kim definitely. Baker University. Yeah. He, you know, he did a great job there. Attackers the location of a bomb. Pretty much making sure that Baker University stays in this game. Ten seconds to go. Five seconds left. Attacker's objective is to defuse the bomb. Once again, Baker University is going from the roof, and we'll see. We saw how well that's worked, you know, throughout the round. Sometimes it works hard, sometimes it doesn't. So, Baker University might just be all right here, though, because it doesn't look like any WCU players are nearby that hatch where they usually try and enter through. He's deciding to rush in here. Palomalu also getting a pick at the same time. King getting things there on the ground. Seems like a nade came from the bottom, but ready to breach. Didn't quite kill. Basically, five to four minute left. Actually, get on the safe and get that bomb. I mean, that defuser. Malu taking peeks through these floorboards here to see if they can, if he can, you know, manage to get any picks off of any unsuspecting WCU players. He's managing to destroy a decent amount of, like, utility and stuff that is on the ground, even if he doesn't happen to be getting any picks off. Bomb 30 has been seconds left on the clock here. need to make some sort of push here onto one of the sites. King Attacker Ryu dropped take, the diffuser. Taking another pick there. We're getting a good opportunity, but followed up with another kill from WCU. We can get up to 3v3. Now 2v3, 15, 15 seconds, seconds left on the clock. Will Baker be able to get on the site and get that diffuser planted? And they will be able to get those kills in this round. Nice victory here from Baker University here on this game. And we're going to be playing a third map. The decider of this map will be the decider of who wins this series. We're going to take a short break as we transition into this next map.
It looks kind of scuffed, not gonna lie. But while everyone's taking a quick old bathroom break, um, I'm going to plug our lovely, lovely Baker University store over here at agent.inc. Oh, agentinc.gg slash collection slash baker. This is where you can get all the jerseys, t-shirts, hoodies, dad hats, a baker wall flag, a backpack, and sticker. And all the proceeds, not all the proceeds, at least 20%. 20 to 10, 10 to 20 go to Baker University. So, um, so yeah, definitely check that out. Um, the team would absolutely love your support. And that, it is, again, very scuffed. I am so sorry. But it, again, it is agentinc.gg slash collection slash baker to get all the Baker University esports merch. Um, it's pretty comfy, if I say so myself. And also, just a little reminder, definitely subscribe with Twitch Prime. Or, if you just want to subscribe and give us some money, go for it. Um, the team will definitely benefit from it, and we could buy a little bit to just kind of fix up the room or fix up some of our computers, so we would benefit from it either way, so again, check out Twitch Prime subs if you have an um, Amazon Prime account and you have not yet used your Twitch Prime, definitely connect your Twitch account with your Amazon account and you can just give us a free, free sub, so yeah. Alright, and we're going to be taking a quick bathroom break.
to game three and we're starting with the band phase. Alright, I'm not quite sure if it is Baker University or the so team. Oh, I think Cam just crashed. <clears throat> We're just waiting currently for KMBC9 News to get back in so we can resume what we're doing and currently T James is on the floor chilling, so I, I guess I'll be commentating for a bit without him, unfortunately. Miss his lovely voice. But we're we're still waiting for KM to get everything figured out. Ubisoft definitely needs to get their stuff figured out, so we wouldn't be having this problem. But unfortunately, that's just the life we live. So Yes, we're going to wait. We're having more than just a number of issues, so I apologize for the delay, but unfortunately this is just what what's just happening at the moment. 
will be back to you in just a couple minutes, and I will definitely check out.
let's see what Baker University is going to ban for defending. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defeated by attackers. Alrighty, looks like we're back here. Uh, sorry for that short wait. We had a, a lot of technical issues that we had to get sorted out between some players, but we're back in for this final game here. Uh, just a reminder that the score is currently 1-1, best of three, so whoever wins here on this map will win the whole series. So it looks like Baker University is starting out here on defense. And uh, we'll see how this goes. Ten seconds to go. Ten seconds. Five the seconds left. Attackers are moving to defuse a bomb. On the defense round here, uh, the attacking phase has started, so Cover me. wait here as Baker University, you know, tries to hold those angles. Of, as we see here, Palomalo managing to peek Wait, out and get a pick on one of those WCU players as he holds this angle as the other one's trying to push in from over there. So the attacker's bomb diffuser has been another, dropped. But can be C9 News picking out one. Looks like the fuser is down for maybe five here for Baker University. Let's see if Palomalo manages to get any more here as the fuser is down. So Baker University in a good spot to kind of hold, hold them out there. Palomalo getting down here uh, from a WCU player, but I think they might just be able to come in and, yep, just get that res here on Palomalo. Looks like they still haven't picked up the diffuser, but Palomalo, after getting res, immediately getting down again. Strafed on currently down. Um, looking less good for Baker University here, but they still haven't managed to pick up that diffuser that was dropped. Like strafe down is finally bled out there. Attackers recovered the bomb. And, uh, Jake King here getting some shots out on a WCU player, trying to peek through the window and managing to get the kill on him right here. Not quite able to get the other player here from WCU. He's picked up the diffuser and is going to plant here. Looks like KBC and our news is going to have to move back on the side here and kill that. WCU players. But, uh, they did manage to Defenders get the diffuser have eyes down, on the diffuser. but Attackers Baker need University to being able to shut down those players on site, uh, even though they got the diffuser down, and they'll be able to defuse it. And that's for round Defenders disabled the round diffuser. one. Going to Baker Bond University. Defusing attempt failed. Defenders win. Pretty good round here from Baker University for you know, starting off. We've seen them not do as good on uh, the defending rounds throughout the series so far, but they did great here on that round. Nothing I can complain about.
Looks like Rainbow Six Siege has managed to uh, crash once again. So, uh, <laughs> sorry for the constant delays here today, folks. But um, the game's still going on. Uh, it's still in the preparation phase. And we'll get, the, get back into that game so we can spectate and show it to you all as soon as we can. Looks like we have managed to get back into the game here. I'm so sorry. You're good. <laughs> Attackers are moving to defuse a bomb. Alrighty, just in time too as the attack phase has just started. Seems to have just be mostly holding down on site as uh, WCU still, you know, trying to fish out where they are and plan their method of attack. Looks like they're destroying the wall the floor is up from the top so they can try and get players that are down by the volcano. In a gunfight we not manage to kill any of Looks like King seems to have gotten picked off from one of the players up above. Attackers drop the diffuser. 15 seconds to go. Looking pretty good for Baker University here. Um, this game so far, you know, nice, two nice round wins. So we'll see how it goes for the rest of this game. But so far, I'm, you know, looking pretty hopeful for Baker University being able to pull off this reverse sweep. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. Attackers must locate and defuse a bomb. Jammer. 
You can stop worrying about grenades now. Jammer ready. You can stop worrying about grenades now. One more mine is ready. Bomb located by attackers. WCU man, I think you can pick off of King there. Not looking great right for Baker University here. 5v3. Looks like they're very hectic right now. A bomb is like right here. On. 5v1, 2, 5v1. Taking the offensive. WCU. Sorry, 4v1. WCU just dropping Baker University players left and right. Not a good round for Baker. Definitely have seen like a repeated thing throughout these games. No team seems to be able to establish a dominant lead over the other. They've been keeping it close the whole way. I thought these were, uh, were pretty good. They were relatively on equal ground, and that's mm -hmm. the biggest importance of, you know. Uh, Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. Attackers have located a bomb. Device set. Cannon feed up and running. The NCC has been doing a good job. Cross all the way to place device. You can stop worrying about grenades now. New feed active. You can stop worrying about Ten seconds to go. Razor wire going up. Five seconds remaining. Attacker's objective is to defuse a bomb. A bomb has been located. Four v four here, four v three here. Seems like we're another pretty hectic round here for Baker University. Um, 
King holding this holding this door here, trying to keep this WC player out, but doesn't manage to be able to 3v1 here for Baker University. Just came BC9 News, but not being able to clutch out that round. That's two in a row here for WCU. You know, taking back that small lead, very small lead that Baker University had uh, from the first two rounds, tying it back up at 2-2. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. I will watch over us. New feed active. Thank you, Captain. Thank you. Attackers have discovered the location of a bomb. Seconds left. Five seconds to insertion. ADS deployed and ready to go. Attackers are heading out to defuse a bomb. You can stop worrying about grenades. Keep an eye on watching. Fifteen seconds left. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining.
so if they win this one, and then they just need more, uh, two more attacking heroes, then we should be good for our first quarterfinal game. But we'll see where it goes from here. I'm not going to speak too soon, knock on wood. But it seems like we have close to the same setup, or I think in EMI and uh, Angelic are different um, characters that... Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. Bomb located by attackers. left before insertion. Attackers have discovered the location of a bomb. Five seconds left before insertion. Magnet, we watch your eyes. Attackers are heading out to defuse a bomb. Attackers have dropped the bomb diffuser. Alright, now we're at a 3v2. I'm not looking good so far. Attackers recovered the diffuser. Activating the bomb diffuser. Shoutcaster and Crime here is taking a little nap because I can't I, I can't blame him. I definitely need a nap myself, but he's just chilling. So 
Yeah, um, we're going for Maverick, Ivana, Pika, Ayana, and Horus for our O. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. I think we just... Looks like the other play, other team might be asking for a rehost here. We'll see what the issue is. Unfortunately, I don't think we can wire. be able to rehost. I think it's about one per game. AD is up and running. So we might have a little, a little bit of an issue. Ten seconds left before insertion. Bomb located by attackers. Five seconds to go. Attacker's objective is to defuse a bomb. 